Has epic empowerment brought any epics out of your vault or just improved the epics that you were already using? It's a good question. I haven't started using any epic I wasn't already using and was wondering if most people are in the same boat. So for you watching this right now, what do you think? Because me personally, this is a good question. One that I didn't really um, explicitly acknowledge in my own mind. But when he brings up this question, I start thinking about it. Like, yeah, no, I, I think he's onto something here. Because with epic empowerment, I don't think I'm using anybody else. Anybody new. There's no epic that was in my vault that I was like, oh, I got a plus two or plus three him. Uh, I can plus four him. And I'm going to use him now on a regular basis. I did plus three my seer i think and i don't know if there's any off the top of my head any other epics that i've plus maybe stagnite i, I can't remember I, I guess we can check right now right let me see are there any let's see let's sort by epics yeah i have a let's look in vault two just in case i got a plus plus two ferric in the fat i use him plus one geo plus one skull crown not stagnant oh plus one seer sorry i thought it was a plus three might be on my other account. But yeah, it's not like I, I use all of these champions on a regular basis anyway, right? Except for Seer, Farrakhan and the Fat. Skull Crown was doing fine without Epic Empowerment, so was Geo. It just, you know, kind of helped them out. But even at plus four, I don't think any of these champions would come out of the vault. I don't see myself um, taking, like, a Royal Guard out or Nia or Neldor, not saying that they're bad to empower, I, I would empower them if I, you know, had the copies of them, but I don't see myself really bringing anybody out that would change anything for me. Is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. I haven't really decided yet, but I, I, I am, as always, curious to see what the community has to say. I only had dupes to spare to plus four Taragi and Sand Slash or Sand Lash Survivor, which I both sometimes use in Curse City. Sometimes. I'm sure even having a plus two would improve epics by a solid bit, but I just don't see where that would be sufficient to close the gap for most epics compared to their counterpart in Lego form. It's very true. I think the empowerment really shines when you don't have a legendary for a particular role and you've been unlucky enough to pull dupes of an epic that fills that role. It, all, it also helps to loosen gear requirements for stuff like clan boss and be able to use less valuable epic champions in clan, clan boss teams to free them up to do better and other things. Also feels less bad to pull a dupe of a good epic champion, but it definitely doesn't redeem the useless ones. Still fulfilling, filling, still filling faction guardians. That's another thing. If you're not at the point where you're what do you call it? Your faction guardians is all the way up. I would consider probably filling this up before you start plus oneing champions. Right? I think that's more important to do. Oh, wait, should I? Yeah, we'll find out. Hopefully that doesn't mess up anything. So definitely fill out your faction wars before doing that. Let's see what Shaddy writes. It's a good question. True. I feel like empowerment itself hasn't given me a reason to use someone I wasn't. But I finally got around to 60-ing Doom Priest for Amius this rotation. She's at plus three, work like a charm. Yeah, I think Doom Priest is a really good option to plus and empower, I mean. I think it'd be more focused on where they'll help me in Centranos more than displacing anyone on my squads that already work, right? Because if you already have teams that work, there's no need to switch anybody out. There's just no point. It's already working. Don't 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 break it unless you're trying to. You're at that stage where you're progressing, but then that that builds another that you know that gives us another thing to talk about. Epics are really strong. Most epics that you get are really strong, and they're going to help you out during your progression phase. After that, you're going to get to a point where you're just going to have a lot of legendary champions, and unfortunately, a lot of these legendary champions don't compete with epic champions, right? I mean, there are some epic champions I can think of that are really strong in something like Arena. Shamael uh, is smacks really hard. A plus four Sham in Savage would be pretty cool. Fenix, Nubkex. Fenix, a uh, plus four a Fenix would smack really hard. That's another one. Just talking off the top of my head here. 
Not yet. I've had like 12 copies of some epics and fed them before empowerment was a thing. If only I knew. Yeah, maybe in another year. Same, same, same. I fed so many seers. I fed so many seers. I've summoned so many series. Uh, not series. Um, seers. And I fed them all. I didn't know epic empowerment was going to be a thing too. So big rip to my potential plus four seer. I got to wait. Mostly just improved already good epics. More damage in Hydra. Easier to gear in Centronos. True. Never bothered. And I'm not saying this is a good or a bad thing. I'm just talking about it. All right. I don't think this was a problem. I think epic empowerment is a good thing in general. But if we have to be nitpicky, how much better is it? Right? Because if I'm reading this post and I'm relaying and I'm talking about the sentiment, the the community sentiment, this is this is what they're thinking, right? Me personally, I'm okay with it. I, I like the epic empowerment. Overall, I think it's a good step in the right direction, a positive for Polarium, a positive for raid in the entire player base. It makes it easier to gear champions. There's nothing wrong with this. I like it. But these people are asking, what more does it do? Does it has it done anything? I never hoarded more than two of each for the faction guardians. I mean, I plus forward fire gun, fear gun, but she's still kind of bad. And ironically, she's better with more copies of herself on the team. One exception is that I have four royal guards. I end up building a new one now. I, on the other hand, have never fed one. I have somewhere in the vicinity of 600 epics. Just too lazy to go through and empower. It's a lot of vault space to store 600. True. Looking forward to getting some space back. The way I did it was by going faction by faction. Filters are really good like this. Use the... Just keep useless ones in the faction guardians. Empower the useful ones. That's true. You definitely do that. I plus two Sepulchre Sentinel for Clan Boss. I needed that speed boost. There, there you go. It's easier to gear, especially for specific Clan Boss teams. If you have a plus two, you get that speed boost. Currently working on Broadmaw and Relic Keeper to make more progress in their respective faction war stages. Uh, faction wars stages. My Seeker, Seer, and Whisper are all very powerful. Plus four. Yeah, that's a good one. A plus four. Right? More speed for Deacon. It's a lot of damage from Whisper. Seer needs less bus, uh, less buffs for one shot. Maybe I'm in the wrong, but not that much additional crit damage, but accuracy and speed is pretty sweet. Whisper, just insane. Yeah, I started actually um, I started actually using Husk and Royal Guard, both of whom I was able to plus four. Before that, Husk didn't have enough accuracy to provoke Hydra. By the way, Husk is a really good champion for Hydra. He's got a EMHP move. Provoke also on the A1. Is A3, just turn it off. Deal damage. World Guard, too squishy. He is very squishy. Hard to keep alive sometimes in Hydra. I had two Jerhard the Stones, so my helmet is now plus two. Is that who you use to Archmage Helmet? I didn't know that. My best dupe epics are speed tuned. True. If you're speed tuned into a specific team, you probably don't want to mess with the tune, because then you're going to have to redo everything. I wasn't hoarding epics after Guardians, so I will see in a year or two. But Allure copies would be sweet. Others like Whisper. But more power is more power regardless. Yeah, this is a good way to look at it. I have plus one a few epics that I've been using all along. Deeker, Rector, Venomage, High Katoon. As of now, I'm in that awkward spot where I can empower more epics, but at the cost of not filling Faction Guardians, so I'm staying put for now. Been considering a plus two Ripper for Scarab, a plus four Ruella for I don't know what, but I've had more pressing champs to work on in the champ training events. I haven't had to plus four anyone. I added a few on, I had or I added a few on champions that I had saved extra copies of that I decided I wouldn't use the extra copy, but even those are plus two or three. I don't know yet. This guy, his Vogov, uh, Vogov came out of the vault, got him to Iron Twins 15 on all affinities, even pre-nerf. It's a Marishka too, of course. There you go. What's epic empowerment? Did you miss the recent patch? You can epic. You can now empower epics, filling for, uh, guardians instead. So yeah, the other thing that I wanted to point out was which champions is it good to have multiple copies of? I felt like this was a, a re relatively, uh, you know, relative, relatable. What is it? What, what, what am I trying to say? It's in the same realm of conversation, I think. As per the title, which champion is it good to have multiple copies of? Two nuts, 
better than one empowered one? That's a good question. I would rather have two nuts. I'd rather I'd rather have three nuts. I would rather have three nuts. I think two can get the job done anywhere. But I really like three. Shamael for Hydra is a really good choice. Same goes for Ugo. Shamael will do a lot of damage. Take care of that head that places fears. Ugo, great for block buff, decrease damage, AoEs, plus some healing. And in a very niche tight spot, AoE revive. Is he that good? I just pulled him today? Of course. Of course. Who goes with Ugo and Hydra? Everyone. Y yeah. You can put every... He's such a great support. She? Great support champion. Just pulled, th um, just pulled a third one during the boost going on right now. As soon as he's built, Torment is completely shut. Torment is completely shut down on all three of my teams. Exactly. Some rares. I don't think we can empower rares yet. If that's ever going to happen. Geomancer is a good one to upgrade. Ugo, yeah. So you're seeing a lot of the same epics, which harkens back to... Was there a big difference in the grand scheme of things? Is the community just looking for more things to complain about? But yeah, it's the same epics. It's the same epics that's been um, being abused. Geo, Ugo, Sham. I mean, it was commented in my other Iron Twins video, one of my Iron Twins videos, that nobody has seen an Iron Twins team without Geo in there. Ugo, Shamael, Seer, all heavily abused. Royal Guard, I can see a plus four Royal Guard being nice. Husk, Maneater, probably Maneater. You could plus four your Maneater, maybe. Uh, you might have to re-speed tune your team, but it'd be nice. A lot of extra damage. Especially if you get a six star soul on him. What was it that Crushing Rend? Or Cruelty? I think it was Crushing Rend, right? Duchess, would you plus... That's a good question. Would you plus four Duchess, or would you rather have four Duchesses? I have three Duchesses. I don't use the third one. I might plus one it. We'll see. 